Hello everybody and welcome back to LRN. Today we are on round four of the F1 2022 Mod Championship. Today we are at Monza, still in the Mercedes of Lewis Hamilton, looking to take back our lead in the driver's standings from the Ferraris of Sainz and Leclerc. Sainz currently leading the way in the driver's championship by just three points from ourselves and one point from his teammate, Charles Leclerc, which does mean they are leading the Constructors' Championship after our teammate George Russell has somewhat dropped off a cliff in the last couple of races and disappeared. So hopefully he can pick his game up um, as we look into today's episode and race. But we'll certainly see how he does in qualifying first of all. I think for Russell to have a better performance, he needs to step it up in qualifying and be near the front of the grid. We did see early in the season that there was the pace in the Mercedes for him to do that, but I'm just not confident at the moment that he's going to be able to deliver for us on the day so here we are then into qualifying over the line as we begin our qualifying lap this time remembering to put on the soft tires to make sure we get as fast a lap as possible and aiming if possible to get as close to the ferraris as we can so that we can really take the race to them during race day on the sunday so here we are then following Alex Albon. At this stage, I'm figuring we've also got an Alpha Tari in our mirrors closing us down, but we want to focus on Albon in front. If we can close up to him by the end of the lap, it means we'll be in a pretty good place for qualifying as the teams are generally pretty close. But we can see there on the left-hand side, Norris has gone off. We did have yellow flag show up, didn't know what they were for, but Norris has gone off. But as you can see here now, um, we've actually overtaken Albon on our qualifying lap, which should mean we're pre making pretty good time and put us pretty far up the order, but is it going to be enough to match the Ferraris of the Claire and Sainz? We'll find out as we cross the line and go P5. P5 then. So behind the Ferraris, still one and two on the grid, but much better than last round where we were 19th from qualifying at Spa. So definitely a much better performance from us today, but the Claire and Sainz still one and two on the grid. Um, Sainz will be looking to overtake his teammate if he can. Perez putting in a good job for Red Bull. And Alonso with a massive job for Alpine in fourth. But the big story is Max Verstappen down in 17th. And our teammate George Russell down in ninth. So again, struggling in qualifying. But can Verstappen get his way back through the crowd? We'll find out in a moment. But here we are to six red lights. And away we go. So we've got Alonso here on the right side with a bit of a slow start for us. We've got, we've already been here on the back there. I think it might have been the Alfa Romeo of Guan Yu Zhou tapping us on the rear wing, but we've managed to go around the outside here of the Alpine of Fernando Alonso on the right-hand side as we leave him room on the left. So he does put, come through that gap as we leave the space, but we just did not want to get any more damage. We haven't got DRS down this particular straight. We're going to follow Alonso, get in the slipstream of the Alpine and go around the outside, and we should be able to cut inside and make that move stick as we move up to the back of Sergio Perez so here we go following Perez and as we skip further to the end of that we can see we've closed right up to the back of him and we're going to try and get Perez here in the slipstream as we head down the back straight so let's see if we can get him into the next right hander so we're going to go into the inside see if we can go late on the brakes but he does outdo us there so we're going to follow him round the corner back in to slipstream the Red Bull in front. Perez, as we know, in this Red Bull has really good pace in this championship season. So we take our time into the slipstream on the main straight, DRS open, into the inside, gonna get him late on the brakes there. Don't give him the room, cut him off, and get into third position up behind the Ferraris, exactly where we wanna be, but we do need to try and hunt them down. But we're going to move over here to our teammate who has really looks like he's fallen back here and lost a couple of positions. Now fighting Magnussen, who had started down around 14th, if I remember correctly. So Russell really falling down the pecking order here. And as we go later into the lap, we can see Magnussen now putting pressure on Russell as Russell tries to catch Lando Norris in the uh, sorry, Daniel Ricciardo in the McLaren. So definitely some moves need to be made by Russell. We've missed what's happened, but he's clearly had some struggles earlier on in the Grand Prix. We can also see that Verstappen now pushing Magnussen, trying to make a few moves as Verstappen fights to get back into the top 10 and into the points this race. So definitely some moves required here from Russell. And at the very least, let's hope he can hold up Verstappen from getting into the points. He is there trying to bring 
um, Red Bull closer to us in the Constructors' Championship and we've seen how good Perez has been. So let's hope that Russell can hold up for Stappen as well. But here he is then chasing down Magnussen. But can Russell here? He's, he's got DRS open. He's going to make the move on Daniel Ricciardo. And to get away from Magnussen, can he make the move stick into the first corner? He covers off the McLaren of Ricciardo and gets that move done. But can he move away? But as we move to the end of that lap, we see that Magnussen is actually overtaken um, the McLaren as well. So end of the next lap here. Verstappen's actually made moves at this point. We've missed the moves by Verstappen. He's cleared Russell and moved right down the road. And we're now we're in a position where Magnussen is trying to chase down Russell yet again. So despite the move gained on the McLaren of Ricardo by Russell, he's now lost a position to Verstappen. And it just looks like Russell must be quite slow because Verstappen's already made a significant gain in just a lap. He's pulled out a massive, massive lead there on Russell. As you can see here, back to our game, we're still trying to close down the Ferraris of Sainz and Leclerc. The gap just doesn't seem to be shrinking. The pace those Ferraris have in this season just seems to be too strong for our Mercedes at this stage of the season. And it does appear at this stage of the race that they will be closing out that Constructors' Championship because I do not think we'll be able to catch them in the Constructors, at least, um, with the performance we're showing today. But here we go then, back to Russell as he continues to try and defend against Magnussen. Not even in a points position this race, but our teammate trying as hard as he can to fend off the Haas of Kevin Magnussen. Will he be able to do it down this straight? We see them drag racing here. Magnussen DRS open, trying to make the move stick on Russell, but Russell does seem to have the pace to come back alongside the Haas. Can he make it back around the outside of the Haas into this first corner? He can and he's on the inside of the next turn and he gets that move done to retain his position in front of the Haas but you do just feel at the moment that you wonder how long he'll be able to keep this up as the Haas just seems to have the pace advantage over uh, the, the Mercedes of Russell but even now the Williams of Latifi is getting caught up and the, the, Russell's so slow that he's brought the Williams back into this fight Latifi there going for a dive on Magnussen but couldn't quite get it done and we now go to the end of the lap and we've now got uh, the Haas of Magnussen back up the rear of Russell. Can he get the move done this time as we head back down the main straight? Again, alongside Russell here, going into the first corner, both cars with the DRS open. Can Magnussen get the move done on Russell this time? Hopefully, Russell can find a way, as he did before, to go around the outside. Yeah, he has a Magnussen on the brakes, wasn't sure where to turn in, not taking the risk of any more damage to his car. Um, with Russell turning as that first corner. So does, doesn't quite get the job done on that occasion. We are still here, now on lap six, chasing down the Ferraris, just not able to make the gains we, we wanted on Sainz and Leclerc. As you see, the gap really not changing. We have managed to open a gap for Perez behind, but that's just about it. And as we head back here to check on the fight between Russell and Magnussen, we can see that Magnussen again closing up to the back of Russell here, but this time on the back straight, can Magnussen get the job done early so that he goes into that first turn already ahead of Russell? He's going to go for the move on the inside here. Can he do it? I think he's got it done. He has. He's covered off the position of Russell. Russell losing another position in this race. Not even able to get up into the points. It seems like I, I have to assume there's been some damage to Russell's car at some point as we head into the seventh lap of the race because he just doesn't have any pace at all. But he does go down the inside here trying to get the move back on Magnussen. But Magnussen closes him off and pushes Russell into the clutches of the Williams behind and has got that done. And as we say that, we've come to the end of the race because we were just were not able uh, to get the job done catching the Ferraris of Leclerc and the Sainz. So there was no more overtaking for us here in this race. We came home in P3 as we were for pretty much the whole race. We've got that done there. So it's a decent haul of points, but not what we needed today. We can see Leclerc's come home in first and he got the fastest lap today as well. Sainz in second. Good race from Perez in fourth. Ocon and Alonso with a fantastic race for Alpine. That'll be a great finish for them and the constructors. Norris doing a good job for McLaren, considering Ricardo so down the far down the pecking order. Verstappen managing to come back from 17th to 9th, showing just how much pace is in that Red Bull in this game. 
but as you can see in the constructors standings Ferrari have taken a dominating lead um, we've stayed in second place but far further behind now of Ferrari than we were I think we're safe from Red Bull another decent finish to secure second place for us but I don't think we can go for first other moves Alfa Romeo have now moved ahead of Haas equal points but better results put them up to fourth Alpine jumping two places ahead of Alfa Tauri and McLaren um, with McLaren moving slightly ahead of Alfa Tauri as well so Alpine with massive gains there and will be looking to get ahead of Haas in the final race of the season but we now 13 points behind Leclerc and with a lot to do going into the final race with George Russell seemingly nowhere hopefully he can avoid damage in the final race to help us out finalizing that constructors in second and hopefully get himself up fighting or at least ahead of Max Verstappen at the end of the season but anyway guys I'm going to thank you so much for watching the race today it's been a really really exciting race at Monza always a fun one if you are new around here please do make sure to subscribe to the channel and make sure to like the video if you did like it otherwise guys I'm going to say thank you so much for watching have a great day goodbye